I play um, a woman who is a poet and a kindergarten teacher. And I think really sh it's about an artist who's a woman um, who's driven crazy by the, the insanity of the culture and the time she lives in. And she lives in the same time that we do. Well, I love this movie because it has a, a really complicated, challenging, um, kind of morally ambiguous central character who is a woman. And um, that was what really jumped out at me when, when the project um, was pitched to me. And I think I'd love to continue with this, you know, um, not in an unorganic way, but I think, um, but I'm, you know, I'm interested in my own psychology as a woman, obviously. And when I read material, or think up material, that's what I kind of want to create right now. I'm interested in, in, in what it means to make a, a feminine movie. And uh, that's different, I guess, from feminist, or maybe it isn't. But, you know, I think in a way women have, have um, with some real notable exceptions, um, you know, when I was growing up, there were women who were making movies, but they f they didn't feel always that they were expressing something that felt really feminine. Like I could relate to it, like something I'd never heard said before. Sometimes I think about the piano and Jane Campion and that image that, you know, I was maybe 16 or something when I saw the piano and Holly Hunter's leg tied to a piano at the bottom of the ocean. Why did that? resonate with me? I don't know. It's very unconscious, but it was feminine and expressed something I'd never seen before. And I think that the same is true of this movie and Sarah's filmmaking. And um, that's what I'm, that's like the low tone I'm listening for and the work that compels me and in the work that I want to do right now.